So I just got a call uh, from Jeff, the owner of my local fish store, One Fish, Two Fish in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. But he calls me and says, there's something wrong with the braise. My employees just gave me a call and said that there's something stuck in its mouth or its gills. They don't know what it is. Can you give the store a call? So I give them a call. One Fish, Two Fish. Hi, is Jacob there? One second. Sure. Hello? Hey, what's up, Jacob? Jeff told me to give you a call, something about the stingray. Yeah, um, so I, I was told by the staff here, uh, I just got here trying to see what they're talking about, but there's something in his mouth, I guess, and it's stuck in there. Which one is it? It's the male. The pearl? Oh. What is that? Looks like what? It kind of looks like a. It's like the shape of a zip tie, and it's sticking out from underneath him, out of his. Uh, I, I wonder if it's uh, one of the barbs. Do you think it's a barb? I could text you a picture. Yeah, send me a picture. Oh boy, that's a barb. That's a barb? Yeah, it stabbed him. That's why you gotta remove them from the tank. I'll, um... It's down, in the, it's down in the bottom. Yeah. It's not gonna be pretty, uh, but... I don't know how to deal with rays. That's why I called Jeff right away. I'm like... Yeah, Jeff called me. Um, okay. so I'll be there in about an hour and a half. Okay, sounds good. No, obviously there are some concerns, uh, with this. We have a couple of options. Because the barb is made out of a hardened cartilage, once in water, uh, it'll essentially dissolve over time, and that can take months to happen. I don't know how long this has been in the ray, but I'm assuming it's only been a day or two, so it's probably fresh off another ray and stabbed him. If we were to wait, maybe if this lodges and falls out over time, odds are that's not going to happen. If we leave it in there and that ray gets scared or you know, swims over something, or it, it, maybe that barb gets, you know, jammed up even further. It goes through its brain. It, 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 it punctures a, an organ of some sort and just simply kills it. So we have to, you know, we have to calculate the risk here. Do we wait to see what happens or do I intervene and we net the ray and manually remove it? But in doing so, we also run the risk of stabbing that sting, that barb even further into the stingray. In my opinion, the calculated risk here and what we're going to do is manually remove it. I think we have a higher chance of staving the stingray by manually taking it out versus leaving it in there and seeing what happens because ultimately odds of it falling out are pretty slim. Secondary infection, stabbing it even further, the fish stops eating, um, you know, it becomes lethargic, uh, listless, you know, Lord knows what could happen there, but my heart is saying Go do something, Joey. You you know what you're doing. You can do this. Go do it. Flyers. Just went and bought all this stuff. Little pairs of gloves. Just to protect yourself from the, the tail. It won't protect from the bar, but it'll protect from the tail. And my net. Little problem. No. Man, everybody in this tank is huge now. Where do you get these front toes up? See, that's how big mine are gonna get. So this is him here. Oh man. That's on the big one. Oh no. Oh, she's getting skinny. You start seeing her hip bones. This isn't good. The big male's got a barb stuck underneath of him. It's stabbed into him. So if we don't remove it. Which one are you looking at? The big one. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? Oh, oh yeah, there's a spike, yeah. Yeah, so one of the barbs are... Oh, oh, it's one of his own. Because look at the female. She has a, a full barb. They should always have two. But he looks like he just lost his. Where's the black diamond or the Leopold? No, that's too small. Yeah, so if we leave it oh, in yeah. there... Is he eating it, though? Oh, no, geez. it's stabbed. Oh, it looks like it's in his mouth. Yeah. He probably tried to eat it and it got stabbed in there. Oh. That's why substrate's a bad idea with stingers. Okay. Ready? Yeah, so the game plan, of course, scoop them out, 
get them on the table, put them upside down, and pull the barb out. If he makes it to the table, I might not even have to. Will this work? I'll clean it out really good, but will this work? Because it has the... I think I'd be able to do this alone. Am I out of your shot down here? Oh, it won't matter. I'll edit stuff out. Put a big blur on you. You blur this time. Uh, unless you don't care. Oh, I will if you really need some. Yeah. Just in case, it's, uh, as soon as he comes out, he's going to do this, and he's going to try to stab, so... Um, well, okay, go <laughs> so that barb there, if we put him upside down, I'm sure you might have heard of this before, like, <clears throat> when it comes to, like, sharks, if you put a shark upside down... Yeah, yeah, it goes awesome. Man. Yeah, they don't know why, but same with uh, Stingray, Stingray right? will have, the same thing will happen. Now, what I'm hoping is I might be able to get everything done within the net. But basically, it's just yanking it out and, and hoping it comes out completely. <laughs> and more so that he stays here. <laughs> Do you want to get him to hurry up? I, I don't want to. I want him to stay here. I can get him out easily right here. <laughs> you could be like right here, I guess. <laughs> and when the cart's here, it's going to go right there. Okay. Yeah, see, it's right there. I feel like if I could just. Now, worst case scenario is that I push it even further and it pierces like a vital organ. That's gonna be fine just like this. I gotta get them now. Here he comes. You know, I might be able to get it right here. Ah, uh, no. Shoot. All right, big fella. See it poking out there? Mm -hmm. I might I might not even have to take him out of here. No. No. Close call. <laughs> Poor guy just wants to get coral. I'm like, hey, want to be on camera and hold the stingrays in tail? Way more interesting than an orange fish there. So it's intact. It's intact. And that's the most important thing. Yeah, I think he healed completely. But when Jeff brought this guy in, he was, um, he was for another customer that never came to get him. And Jeff doesn't have a ton of experience with freshwater stingrays, so he's like, do you want to consider taking this guy? And I was like, you know, I really don't want another stingray, but once I saw him, he was uh, he was heater burned, he was lethargic, he was um, starving to death, he was skin and bones. Um, so I took him, and then Jeff brought in another one and just gave that one to me, and he's like, throw these guys out, and when I get a big enough tank, I'll take them back. So that's all that happened. So I grew them out, nursed them back to health, and uh, they're doing really well. But you can see his hip bones in the back. And uh, just because he's big doesn't mean he's healthy. So he's losing weight, but it happens almost damn near overnight. Yeah, too. Um, this one looks a lot better. So at the base of their body, right where the tail uh, connects, and believe it or not, these are pectoral fins. Um, they're just modified. But at the base, you'll notice two little um, you'll know you'll know their hip bones when you see them, so that's one sign. And then in between their eyes, there should never be much of a dent. It's always going to swoop in and stuff, but it shouldn't be like a big dent. And he's starting to get one, so a week of good food and he'll be fine. So mass spore pellets and uh, what was the other thing? Shrimp. Yeah. They'll eat uh, damn near anything seafood. Uh, you just got to make sure he's getting it. Yeah. You might even want to. Here's a tip. I'll show you what I'll do. What I do when I when, when I have a community tank full of rays, and one won't eat or they're not getting the food. I'll show you. And it's right over here. You take this off, and you just have the tube. This isn't long enough. I think he's got another long one. But you put it in, and you drop the food down, and you can direct where it gets to the base. So the ray is definitely going to get that food. And now more than ever, he needs it because he's got to heal. 
It's not that big of a problem, um, but I, I bet you he'll eat right now. Yeah, because he probably wasn't able to eat previously. Yeah. I'm going to toss this in the car, mm -hmm. and then uh, I want to shop. Okay. So that was best case scenario. Didn't have to remove the ray from the tank. The barb was still intact, uh, and it wasn't that deep. Maybe about an inch of it went in, which sounds like a lot, but the, the barb itself was like almost four inches long. The downside is it's one of his barbs. That barb was too big to be that, that Leopold eye, that black ones, and too big to do the, be the smaller girls. Um, so it had to have been him. So the barb fell off, it got trapped in the sand, he went to eat it, and rays will be aggressive when they're biting because they're, they're like a cow. They don't have teeth to rip flesh, they crush. So he grabbed at it and tried to eat it and stabbed himself in the mouth. Now he's losing weight because he, he couldn't eat. Uh, so best case scenario, I didn't know that it was going to be like that, but once I got him in the net and then the barb kind of poked out from the net, I was like, oh, I'll just grab it out and that's what happened. So that was uh, best case scenario. Um, happen uh, we did it really quickly. Um, and now that I'm here, I think we're gonna do a little fish store tour shopping. Um, I don't know if I'll get anything or if you guys will even see this video, unless I want something, but we'll see. And that will be in a future video. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, and I know that many of you can't relate to this sort of thing, so it's mostly interesting. Um, but when I'm educating you on certain things, like Ray's don't need this, and I have to, you know, almost, you know, battle with somebody in the comments that's never had a stingray saying they need a substrate, they've evolved for that, they need decorations. You have to understand that I actually have hands-on experience and, you know, a wealth of uh, community of freshwater stingrays that definitely agree with this. It's never happened to me because I don't keep them in certain situations. Will that happen again? Odds are no, but the odds increase with a substrate. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you do. I make like videos like this all the time. I'll see you guys in the next one.